What's poppin' Cougs? Welcome back to Cougar in the Clock. And this show's gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's the BG episode, basically. Uh, Don't say it like that. We, <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't had an episode yet, and I'm on the way out and, you know, promised him an episode. So this, this, so let's start, we're gonna, our topics today, we have, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna have some pack openings with trading cards. Uh, the second topic is uh, uh, the WC Spring game, of course. Then we have uh, the Warriors versus the Kings. And of course, to end it off, we have a debate about Drum Corps International. So uh, with that, let's get in the show. All right, so the first topic is we're opening like trading cards and stuff. So what do you, what, what do we open first? I think we should open. Uh, Teammates? We won't, yeah, we won't say their name All right. for legal reasons. For I legal reasons. Like for legal general. reasons. The series nine. What do you mean for legal reasons? Ooh, I don't, I don't know. I can't open this, can you open it? Yeah, I can open it. For sure. It's gonna have my saliva. Who'd yeah, you, you take that. So who hey, we got the Jets and the Saints. All what right, you, so you got uh, <laughs> Le'Veon Bell when he was on the Jets and Drew Brees while he was on the Saints. And you got the and Tennessee got Titans and the Green Bay Packers. A.J. Brown, oh, and Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Speaking of which. Uh, With the Jets. So Aaron Rodgers today was traded officially to the Jets. Uh, for a, a, a ton of picks, a ton of a ton of stuff. Like it was blockbuster trade. Um, you know, it, we we all knew it was coming. It was just about when it was coming. So that happened today. Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. That's our topic. All right, what are we opening next? Well, yeah, okay, I just wanted. So we have the Jets. Do you think? I, I mean, I think the Jets are a playoff team. They were a quarterback away. They have a great roster. Wow. I think I think they just needed a quarterback. And I think if Aaron Rodgers can uh, play like he has in his career, he's going to be fine. Because even last year when he was having those off-field issues, you know, they the Packers still ended up – were they in the playoffs? They were in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, no, they came close. Yeah. They like, came. they were still a solid team. Yeah. So, I think, you know, Rodgers has what it takes to make the Jets a great team. Yeah, and that leadership that they were lacking in the locker room. I mean, mm -hmm. with Zach Wilson, you got that dog. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't want – if I'm a teammate, I don't want – my quarterback to maybe hit on my mom or something like that. That, <laughs> that doesn't seem like a fun environment to be in. Right. Um, so okay. So what are we opening now? Yeah. Yeah. Open up the football cards. Yeah. Let's see. For those of you who don't know me, uh, huge football card collector, uh, have thousands of dollars worth of cards. So we have Lamar Jackson. No news with him. Uh, we have one minute left of this topic and. 30 seconds till I put my goggles on, <laughs> and you'll see why. Brian Burns, Deion Jones, Chris Jones, Ezekiel Elliott, Nick Bosa. Oh, we all got a Niner. Okay. Sweet. Jalen <laughs> Rieger, Corey Davis, Nick Chubb, who I think might be the best running back in the NFL. Personally. <laughs> Personally. Okay. okay. Sean Evans. I think it has to do with the scheme, but that's just me. Daniil Hunter. And then it ring or Jalen Phillips. Dalvin Cook. That's a cool card. I'm going to put my goggles on. I got DeAndre Swift, Emmanuel Sanders, T. Higgins, Sweet. Philip Lindsay, Jamie Collins, Matt Stafford, Mike Williams, <laughs> Raheem. Tiki Barber. Mm. I am terrified right now. There we go. Uh, hey, hey. So instead of a bell, it's confetti today. Uh, James and Crowder. Sweet. Jake Funk. That's a guy. That's a person. Cole Beasley. Melvin Gordon, Lamar Jackson, J.J. Watt, Calvin Ridley. These are all just players that have already made the – what is this? Huh? Do you want the Lamar card? <laughs> J.D.'s going to get the Lamar right, card. Buddy. Where was it? Lamar Louisville card. There you go. All right. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you want this one too? There you yeah. go. And then I opened up the Pokemon uh, Vintage Voltage Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah? Here, before I, I move on, what are you I got, doing? I gotta do a, a, a I don't know, a uh, what what's it doing? called? A, a wardrobe what? change. Oh boy! Hold on. Here it comes. 
Oh, you can tell me you got Baker Mayfield. It's a cool one. I love Baker. Well, the problem is, and I'm trying to talk to your mic right now. Uh huh. Is uh. Where's your mic? I was hoping that we were gonna get some sort of uh, representation for uh, my team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> BG is also a ref oh, outside. Okay. Baby. There it is. Ah, he showed off the cheeks and everything. Oh, um. <laughs> Dude, I never miss leg day. My name's Evan Charney. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, the, man. This is an episode, man. And, what, I, and it, I wouldn't be a true referee without my glasses. So there you go. So, all right. We have, here, you want to open? I can't open those. Yeah, let's see if we get We also have uh, Lego minifigures. Yeah, BG's a referee on the side. This is just a fun episode for me because I, I, this is usually just a sports show, which we have sports topics, I promise. We'll get there. Uh, Whew. I think the, the biggest travesties in all of the NFL. What the hell is this? You have the Minnesota Vikings and the Houston Texans. But who are the players, though? The Texans, Deshaun Watson, so that is a travesty. And Cook. Dalvin Cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay. want Deshaun Watson? <laughs> <laughs> we know uh, how JD feels on the matter. No, no, no. <laughs> no we're, not, we're not going there. <laughs> All righty. Uh, uh, JD's just a Clemson fan. <laughs> was, yeah. What uh, is this thing? I have Calvin Ridley and Sony Michelle. Sony Michelle, sweet. Support black quarterbacks. Support black quarterbacks. There we go. That's a good. That's a good cause to get like behind. That. Yeah. Just you know the good, like the good people ones mm -hmm. though. The, yeah, just no, not the good, Wilson. The good people ones. You know what I mean? Like Deshaun Watson probably isn't. No. One it, shouldn't, of the good it shouldn't even be about like it should just if they're a good person you support them. Like. Well yeah, but I'm saying you know we we're talking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome, <laughs> dude. We got the we got the Special Olympics. A uh, bicycler person. Whoa! That's sweet. That's awesome. We got a sports one. There we go. We represented. We all. <laughs> uh, where's your mic? Is your mic on you? <laughs> yeah, my mic's still on me. This is an episode. No, we, I, I. Think, we opened everything. I think so. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to our topic. The spring game. <laughs> <laughs> our first, our first actual topic, real quick. WC Spring Game, Crimson and Gray Game. Uh, team, I'm going to take these off for a Oh, my gosh, the lights. Uh, team Crimson won 42-14. to 14. Team Crimson was the starting offense with the second and third string defense. And Team Gray was the starting defense with the second and third string offense. Mm. Now, I don't know with that score, 42-14, to 14, if that means our defense is struggling or if um, our depth is struggling. I don't know what the difference is. But... You know, we got to see a preview of Arbuckle's new offense. Uh, Arbuckle, of course, is our new offensive coordinator, I believe. Um, and he's been, he's been fantastic. I mean, the offense looked great. It looked very explosive. It's going to be a fast-moving offense. Um, I think, uh, I think the, uh, not Delora, what's his name? Cam Ward. Cam I think Ward. Cam Ward's going to do great in this offense. Yeah. Uh, we have new, two new offensive tackles. We had a guy uh, uh, from a, a JUCO transfer. He's huge, massive. He's the left tackle. The right tackle is a... A backup from last year, but he's also big. And both these tackles looked great yesterday or Saturday. Um, and so <laughs> I kind of sweep off my area a little bit. Um, so no, this offense I think is going to be a little bit better than last year. Uh, I do think the defense might struggle a little bit because we did lose our whole linebacker core. Yeah. You know, our interior defensive line. Um, but I don't think I don't think WC is you know out of the question for uh, a bowl game. I, I I was looking at the schedule actually. I think I think. I think seven and seven and four, no seven and five. Yeah, seven and five, eight and four. Those are my picks. I just, I really, he, my feeling has always been is when the Cougs show up, they're probably the best team uh, in the Pac-12. And I know that's a hot take, but um, and what I really wanted to talk about was the officials. Um, I thought it was a really cool gesture that they took the uh, Washington or the Southeastern Washington uh, football officials. Association, those officials for high school football games, um, they had them refing and being on the chain gang for um, the spring game. So I thought that was a cool moment. But no, I really do think that 
when this coup team shows up and actually tries to put above themselves and everyone's cohesively as a group, then uh, yeah, I, I, I really do think that they could be anyone on their, on their schedule. And I think mm -hmm. it will also help that um, this year, the Badgers are coming to Pullman. Um, and, and people are worried about that game, but I feel like I th I'm not. We we beat them. We beat them last year. And, and that was before that was before we kind of got our you know mid season kinks out. And and that was the other thing was it was it was a down year for Wisconsin. No, they've just been on that trajectory for the past couple of years, the past four years. And if you look, I mean. I, I'm not saying that the Cougs are going to go to the Big Ten or anything like that, but if you look like at a, a UCLA or a USC, the Big Ten is just such a large conference that someone's bound to lose, right? And so I find it silly that, you know, these teams that are <laughs> – okay, I want, I want to finish it. Thank you. I find it silly, though, that these teams are trying to go to the Big Ten because someone's going to lose. That's, that's, that's just the nature of the game, and if the best – Ability, yeah. I, I think the best shot for some of these programs, especially like a UCLA who's in like this rebuilding mode, um, I think they're going to be good next year. But I really don't think that they'll find their niche in the Big Ten. And I think that they're going to be like a two loss uh, coming out of that massive conference. And they're going to be with the new uh, way that the um, – the bracket is set up for the college football playoff, I think they're going to be a low seed, let's be honest. Yeah, right? I can get that. And so I just I, – I, I find it silly with this whole thing. And so I think the Cougs, um, if the Pac-12 still is around, they can really capitalize on this and have, you know, one – maybe, you know, all you need to do is beat a, a Utah, beat an Oregon, and uh, you're in, right? Because they're going to have at least one um, – team from the power five con from a power five conference that wins their championship into the playoffs so i don't know it's it's really it's a really interesting time to be um in college while also covering college sports so and we made your uh, special olympic man or it's paralympics paralympics yes yeah no that's sick though i it like that sick. that's sweet do you think cycling is a sport yes it's a physical activity we'll get to that in a second yeah. all right Next topic is da, 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 Sacramento Kings versus the Golden State Warriors. Currently tied series two to two. Um, BG is our resident Kings fan. Even though I'm from Sacramento, I'm a Warriors. <laughs> okay, what do you what do you? <laughs> what are you pulling down? Ooh, you saw my undies on that one. What are you <laughs> there we are. Sacktown, 916, represent. Do you have the socks on that I got you? Did you bring the socks? Wait. You wore the socks? All right. Oh, wait, where's the mic? Uh, you forgot the mic. The mic's on the ground. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. He Sorry. Got, he got the full stank on yeah, that one. That was, that was <laughs> gross. I um, wish that YouTube had smell of vision That would have been sick. Uh, so, yeah. BG is Woo. our Kings fan. Um, Oh. I can smell him now. Wow. I, I need to get some, like, BG's our Kings fan, and so the series iPods. is 2-2. Two to two. Uh, Last night, the Warriors won 126-125. to 125. Harrison Barnes almost had a last-second game with a three-pointer, yeah. uh, but just couldn't get it done. The Warriors are them. Uh, <laughs> however, we did, Stop. we did, hey, listen, we did learn today, though, and I'm, you know, look, I want the Kings to succeed. It just sucks because they're going against the Warriors. I have to root against them. But if the Kings win against the Warriors in this series, like I've said on my show two or three times now, I would root for the Kings to win the finals. Like, I'd want them to go on and win the finals. It doesn't matter. Like, oh, this is great. I know that we're personalities and we have our own opinions on things. But really, in my true uh, personal opinion, it doesn't matter if I like the team or I don't like the team. I just think that this Kings uh, – this collection right now, the Kings collection that is on this team right now, is young. It's very raw, and you have the the true leadership for this team is Mike Brown, um, mm -hmm. and you have a up. You have an advantage with the whole uh, 
he was an assistant coach. He, you know, basically with, made, with the Warriors, with the Warriors, made Draymond Green who Draymond Green is, and now Sabonis is capitalizing off of it. My Lithuanian brother. Um, uh, but yeah, so it's just. I, I, I truly said going into this, I don't think the Kings would, uh, you know, maybe even get into the Western Conference Final. I think that would be a, a – it was a victory just getting into the playoffs, mm -hmm. right, after yes. the, the longest active drought. And so – but I really do think that this team, if they pick up the right pieces in the offseason, they can win the whole thing. Uh -huh. Not only go to the finals, but I think they can win um, the whole – because look at the Western Conference right now. That's, that's a beast. It's a mammoth. No, put your glasses on. Oh, okay. it's coming. Uh oh. Um, ah, just shoot me, JD. All right. Well, let's. <laughs> yeah. No. So I, I, I really, I, I think Golden but, State, and this is a horrible so draw for the Kings too. Well, and what sucks is, you know, we learned today, uh, Darren Fox potentially fractured uh, a finger on his shooting hand, and now people, you know, people are like, oh, well, Kobe did that. Well, okay. No, not everybody's She's, Kobe. Also, I don't think you realize a fracture on the on the. <laughs> <laughs> you just the punk fake? Would, Come you just, on. would you just pop it already? <laughs> a, a fraction on the shooting hand, uh, go it goes a long way. So you know. I, well, I don't and the know. other thing is, is people don't understand that he was not great last season. <laughs> 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 All right, he was not great last season, and it, it was this role of he has this support role with Sabonis, and you know, strength in numbers. That same moniker is being now put over to the Kings. Yeah, exactly. So I, okay. I, I don't think it's fair to him to be calling him Kobe. I just, no, I, I don't think. Not yet. I don't, no, it's not. No, he's too young in his career. Yeah. But all right, that, that brings up <laughs> the end of that topic. On to the final topic, which me and BG have already had several conversations about oh. preparing for the show. What are you pulling out of the, what is this? Oh, I, I, I got to do my, my final P-I-M-P, Cat Williams get up. Okay. Uh, drum, uh, drum Corps International. It's a very competitive uh, marching band drum corps competition uh, that's national or international, I guess. International. international. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I actually, you know, had a friend in high school that was part of one of the <laughs> part of one of the uh, groups that uh, have won a championship and compete every year for these championships. Uh, so shout out to you, Charles. Uh, if you're probably not watching, but shout out to you. Um, and the debate is if it is a sport or not. And you're not changing my I, mind. I think it's a sport. I think Drum Corps International is definitely a sport. Uh, you, have got, you have a large, cohesive team working together, running up and down a field. If you look at Japan, they have arenas built specifically for marching band, for high schoolers to go up against other schools. Um, it totally is a sport. You have judges. Uh, you're, you're, it's, fit, it's, it's exhausting. It's exertion. Um, I, I could attest to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like a dead cow. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you have, I was a contra player, so I would have this, 30, 35 pound, uh, uh, it's a sousaphone, if you know, a tuba, and I'm, I'm marching it and um, exerting it on the field. I'm running back and forth. Um, it's, it is definitely a sport, and it, it's, not, it's lung capacity. It's not a sport. Why? It's an art. It is an art. Music is an art. Sure, I think football's an art, too. No, but it's an athletic sport. When was the last time you turned ESPN on and you saw Drum Corps International? That's marketing. That's when that's was the last time with media you rights turned deals. on? It's okay. the same thing all right, with the whole all right, Pac-12 right, marketing right, their media All right, deal. well, then when was the last time you saw a sports blog website cover Drum Corps International? I think that you're in an echo chamber, and I don't think that you physically see... Marching, I'm not saying it's not... Okay, listen, I think you're thinking that I'm discrediting it. I think it's a very impressive thing that they do. I definitely wouldn't be able to do that stuff, but I'm just saying it's not a sport. It's an art. You're going up against other competitors, other teams, and you're being judged. Right. And you're putting physical exertion so is, in. So is, so is chess. But chess isn't a sport. It's not a team, necessarily. It's, it's like one-on-one. -on -one. 
if you have a cohesive unit. <laughs> oh, it's 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 not it's not a sport. You can't you can't convince me otherwise. There's no there's no athletic form of, of band. You, band is not athletic. You it's have not to have enough proper it, technique when you're marching and doing stride steps. You have different uh, you have different form where you have high stepping where you you lift your feet off the ground and you're judged on that. So like a horse going up and galloping, I mean equestrianism, that that the horse is a sport, right? And then you have slide where you 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 uh, it's fluid motion, your feet never uh, leave the ground. It's 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 not a sport. It's not it's not. There's it's, it's an art. It's literally called music and arts is the same thing. You ever see you never see music and sport out of it. I mean there it, it is a component BG, of dance it. is a, is an art. Yeah. Dance is an art. Is dance a sport? No, it's an art. There's a difference. I'm not discrediting. It's it's its own thing. I think Band. cheerleading is a sport, and it is a sport. And you well, they use vocal. They have cheer. They have you. You're using your vocal tones. You're They're using, lifting each other up. They're throwing each other in the air. They're having to like do these acrobatic techniques. That that's an athletic thing. Well, okay. You have a uh, a drum major who is taking a baton or a twirler that's taking a gun, and there's sh- it's a prop gun. But it, they're twirling it up in the air. They're doing different moves. I, 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 it's an art. I'm, and I'm, I'm, again, not discrediting what they do. I think it's very impressive what they do. I can't do it. But it, it, is, it is not a sport. It's not. No, it, it, I think I won the conversation. How did you win the conversation? Mm. Because I, 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 I had the rebuttal. I had the, my rebuttal, but you, you just said it's, it's just not a sport. Because it's not. But you you don't give me a valid reason why. I've already told you. There's Go the, look it up. Look it up right now. Is, look band it up. What a, is, is de- marching band a sport? No, right. what is the definition of a sport? All right. Do is Oxford or something. Marching band a sport. So marching band is a sport. Boom! How? I think but Even let's more do this. Closely fits definition of a performance art. It closely fits the definition of a performance art. I th- think you're right. I think it is an art, but I think it's more than that. I think you should search up the definition of what is a sport. Thank you, JD. I appreciate you. I think my hernia just dropped. Uh, it's not. It's not a sport. It is a sport. It is most definitely. A sport. Activity involving physical exertion, skill, and/or hand-eye coordination. Boom. Is primary focus of the activity. Boom. 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 It hits every freaking notch on your little. It's not a sport. All right. Thing. Well, then when it gets on ESPN, then I'll join on the bandwagon. No, that's. That's all about media rights. That's all about uh, strategy and advertisement. Okay. Just because the cherry pit contest is on ESPN eight, the Ocho every like half a year or so, that that doesn't. But it's there's, there's, okay, but this thing, though, is, is no, one, no one calls it a sport except for you. I've never met anyone says band is a sport. Again, that's why I said people call cornhole a sport. Right no, people call cornhole a sport. I don't think it's a sport. I, I played cornhole. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to cause a fire, BG. Do you uh, notice how hot that is? <laughs> BG. Yeah, it's, it's the grand finale. Okay, but it's, it's stuck there. Can we? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll grab it. We'll grab it. What, what's the birthdays? Uh, all right. What are, what are our birthdays? Oh, happy birthday to Aaron Judge. <laughs> their next birthday. There's no other birthdays. Yeah, there was a uh, Kevin James from uh, Paul Blart Mall, Mall Cop. It's Kevin James' birthday. Ready? Yep. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. There's no oh. other birthdays? We usually just do athlete episode, athlete birthdays. Oh. Also, there's more stuck there now. What's the outro real quick? Um, okay, don't aim it at me. Lord. Uh, yeah, so that, <laughs> this has been Kuga on the Clock. Uh, with BG. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to follow all of our social medias on Instagram. I'm going to put my glasses back on. On Instagram at Wazzy Sports Network. On Twitter at Wazzy Sports Net. BG, where are you going? I need my glasses. Um, ooh, what's this? This looks good. Oh, we're having some ASMR time. That's <laughs> no, that's good. All right.
Just hit the back. Dog! Dog! All right. <laughs> Guys! Ta-da! Bye-bye! Probably... Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, I'm Alexander Huddleston. I'm Emmett Brisgornia, BG. See you guys next time, and go Cougs! <laughs>